Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 81. Yeah. yeah. Am I even odd? I feel... <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit me? <laughs> that's, that's the second time she chucked that poor little llama over the edge. Okay. Oh. We'll start out with... And YouTube 81, welcome. Um, what have I been busy with? Am I even on here? I feel so far away. I hope so. Okay. I, you were when I was looking through the camera. Okay. All right. Well, you know. You know. <laughs> It'd be quite the YouTube with just me and then your that's, voice. That's, <laughs> okay. Okay. What have you been doing? So we're introducing the spring sampler, yes. the spring wool sampler. And so I made a few accessories for... <laughs> The um, ducklings and the bunnies. And that's it. <laughs> that's so funny. I just think that's terrible that you chucked him twice over the edge. I did. She's trying to sneak an animal I don't like up here. Again. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I've shared him in the past. <laughs> it's this llama with this cute little knitted. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, Anywho. anyway, the spring sampler, and I we That's put together a bundle sampler. with the spring sampler, the duckling, and the bunny. And I made the bunny a little hat and little, little bow ties. It is quite cute. And bow ties and little eggs. And what else have I been doing? I have had to come to the school every day. Oh, poor her. And eat Libby's food. Poor her. And take pictures of it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've had to come every day and eat the food and take pictures, and it's for her event menu, mm -hmm. and we just needed pictures of it, so, and that's kind of been... Which will be really nice, because not only mm -hmm. will it have the prices in the description, it will have pictures, so... Mm -hmm. And it was it's all cool. delicious, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one day I forgot, I thought we were done, and she called and said, are you coming to take pictures? And I was like, oh, I'm hungry, yes! <laughs> I'll be right there. So yeah, that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And then um, Jeff, my husband, has been making mm -hmm. me some movable panels. So when when we start lambing at the beginning of April, when we have to move the after they lamb, I move them across the yard to the uh, to another little pen out of the lambing barn because mm -hmm. if we have too many in the lambing barn, it gets all humidity and, and then they get sick. So we take them and, and move them across and I usually have to take the lamby and, you know, try and get them to follow the lamb. And, you know, the older ones will do that, but the younger ones, they're just scared and they run all over the yard. <laughs> so now I have these little movable panels that, that I can set up and I can just pick them up and set them up along there so that they can't go running all over the yard. So that's pretty nice of him. Yes. And what has Chris been doing? I have I don't have glasses on, so she's reading. But what have I been doing? <laughs> she's been working in the mill. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Which yep. um, we are busy on Saturday with our Destiny's Shoe tour, and otherwise just yeah. busy in the mill. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just a couple days ago. Or yesterday, I don't remember. I don't even know what today we picked is. out. We picked out all the flooring. Oh yes, yes, Let for me. the school. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of the, the and carpet it, and the. Can you believe that we did this in, in one day? In one day, mm -hmm. we're so excited. Mm -hmm. 
because we kind of thought this would be a process that would carry on for yeah. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, yeah. we agree on most things. So, yeah. and at this point, we're like cheapest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're cheaper. good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. picked out the flooring, and but it's gonna look amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Yeah, we're really yeah. happy with. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after we did that, we went to the mill and mm -hmm. did a video on the spinner. Yes. And we, I put that out there yesterday. Yeah. So. I had, yeah, I was really quick at getting that together because yes, mm -hmm. but there wasn't a lot to cut out, so it was a lot. It was easy. Hmm. So yeah, we chose to start with the most. <laughs> um, I, I I don't want to say complicated, but it is. It was the most time-consuming, um, still learning <laughs> a piece of equipment in the mill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you yeah. can check that out. It's the it's fiber mill equipment part one, the spinner, <laughs> and Chris walks through all the all she has to do with the spinner mm -hmm. every time she uses it to make yeah. yarn. So it's it's kind of neat, a little video, and you can check that out. And last year at this time, so we like to share what we were doing mm -hmm. last year. So I look through my pictures and find out what we were doing, and and there's a lot of pictures in the school that I took of, you know, in the old part of the school. And things have, some have changed for the worse. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, we had to take- <laughs> Two steps backwards to go one step forward. And yeah. We had to take some of the, yeah. the, the um, can I think of what it's called? <laughs> Around the doors. <laughs> trim. Trim. Trim off. Take the trim off. They took some plaster mm -hmm. off and it was literally falling off the walls. Mm -hmm. So. Some yeah. of it looks worse, some of it looks yeah. better, some of it, you know, there's like the pictures of the windows on the top floor, the windows mm -hmm. are gone and now it's a open corridor into the, mm -hmm. all the rooms. Mm -hmm. So that's changed quite a bit. And then on the main floor, it's, it's you're looking down out into the dining room. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. kind of neat. So, yep. It's coming, coming together. Lots of changes and hopefully yeah. for the better soon so that you'll actually yeah. see the improved, yeah. improved look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the products that we want to feature, which is different than our normal feature, because we usually kind like of, to it, feature. It, well, it goes with the accessory. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So we usually mm -hmm. like to feature our own products that we are making here. Mm -hmm at um, Shepherd Industries, but um, so I, I made a, a duckling kit and I, I took pictures of him riding in this little wagon. <laughs> and a lot of people were interested in where do you get that, where did you get that wagon? So we um, got a bunch of the wagons and we're selling those as an accessory to the duckling or any of the other animals if you wanted to make the animal and then um, display them in this wagon. Mm -hmm. So we got they all him. look super cute. Whether it's the gnome or the bunny or mm -hmm. it's so, so cute. Yeah, those are available. So on, under the duckling. So when you go and click on the duckling, you'll get the option of purchasing the wagon along with it, and yes. and it's been going over really well. Yes. So there's also a bundle with the yeah I think I mentioned that already the bunny yep. and the duckling yep. and the spring sampler, mm -hmm. and then you can also add on the wig the wagon and you can also add on materials to make another duckling so you can have two in the wagon <laughs> or materials to make another bunny yeah. So, uh, yeah lots of different options yes yes and so we have this last week we moved this big heating unit up here into the mezzanine yeah where we are sitting where we are perched yeah, on the new tables up here yep mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. so with a fork left so Mike was kind enough to come over with the yes. forklift and lift it up here. And then they they took it off the forklift and put it over here. And so that was that was kind of uh, interesting to watch. It was a really mm -hmm. heavy, wondering how they were going to get it up here safely. And it all went very well. And it's mm -hmm. up here. Very well. It's not hooked up yet, but it's up here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, and we also had our dusty shoe tour, which mm -hmm. was... Very uh, well. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. we, we really enjoyed it. It's been a while. We've been fixing up the ceiling here in the gym mm -hmm. and um, because of COVID restrictions we haven't had a lot of events here or people here and it was kind of fun to have mm -hmm. a bunch of people come and it was 
fun hearing all their questions. When we each gave little, mm -hmm. we would group them into small groups and take them on tours. Mm -hmm. And it was fun to hear everybody's comments and questions. So yeah, I had, we, <clears throat> in one of my tours, I had the president of the Alumni Association and he told one of, I mean, he was, you know, full of tidbits and information. It was, it was just, it was pretty, mm -hmm. it was honoring to, to hear all of, all of his comments. But one of them was that, that we hadn't heard before is that someone snuck a cow on a Halloween night into upstairs the superintendent's into the superintendent's office yeah. and left it there. <laughs> and that's so, the first time we yeah, heard that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so he's going to try to um, gather some more information on that one. So, yeah, if anybody has any yeah. more information on that, we'd love yeah, to hear it. Because that was the first time we'd heard that one. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cute. You know, because back then, like they were talking, is, you know, the cows were not... They were tame because oftentimes they were, you know, they there were dairy cows, cows, they were yeah. milk cows. And and um, so it, it is possible to have led one up the stairs into the, yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. And on one of my tours, I had a Jim. He was in the last graduating mm -hmm. class in 1966. And he would tell the group the history of, you know, what we were looking at. And then mm -hmm. I would say what it's going to be. So it was kind of a really fun tour for. Yes for the past and the future so and i yeah he's done a couple tours here and it's mm -hmm. it's really fun to hear his stories so yeah yeah we are really looking forward to june 26 when the all school reunion is is here and to have all these alumni back and to hear mm -hmm. all these stories all the stories it's yeah it's gonna be pretty cool it will yeah. be yep <laughs> so our school update oh my oh we, my this so, next like well tomorrow Tomorrow, the windows for the old part of the school are coming. Oh my! We have been waiting. Oh my goodness! Yeah. We have been waiting for these. Mm -hmm. And so this <sighs> is we we record this on Tuesday, mm -hmm. so this will air on on Saturday. So there'll so probably there be, be some pictures. Some yeah, <laughs> and there will be some in. And some have been posted on post Facebook for sure. Yes, yes, because mm -hmm. we're really excited about it. So we'll be here yeah. taking pictures and videos, and yes. it's really going to change. Yeah, the way everything looks. And yeah. really improve things. So yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah, there's so much going on. There's so much that um, we don't even notice walking in because you know the plumbers, the electricians, they're mm -hmm. they're they're so busy putting in, you know, everything that's hidden behind the walls. And we found out today that they're starting to hang the sheetrock in the new addition. Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness, those are the guest rooms that are going to get the sheetrock. So that means mm -hmm. that all the electrical, all the plumbing will be ready for the sheetrock. So that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. And they put up shearing walls mm -hmm. in the guest rooms. Mm -hmm. I don't know when, yesterday, today, I mean. Maybe today, Just maybe today. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, maybe yesterday. And then last week we showed, we shared pictures of a, mm -hmm. like some of the windows in the mm -hmm. dining room, but we didn't have all of them in at mm -hmm. that time so um, i have a video showing all of of the windows there's just one missing that isn't that put is, in yet but it's in here in the you might even be able to see it behind laying yeah. against the by the door but it, the, the, the video you know showing you the whole thing is kind of yeah it gives the the picture of just being there which is pretty cool it's yeah. a really going to be a really neat room yeah we're really excited about it so yeah mm -hmm. yeah pretty, pretty cool Remember that wagon we talked about before? It's this little wagon. This little guy right here. And the little Ducky. Dog. And we have this big wagon. With all his friends. Displaying mm -hmm. his, all the other kit. So, you know, we could have the llama. Pulling it. Pulling but he it. died. <laughs> but somebody tossed him over the edge. <laughs> he died sorry <sighs> okay <laughs> but this is a little wagon that we have what are they eight bucks nine bucks something like that eight bucks eight yeah. something yeah adorable absolutely adorable <laughs> so you should put them down See? though because we'll like be out of focus in there okay yeah let's keep in there or we could put drakey in there drakey go in there too. oh drakey fits perfect look at that how about the bear does the bear fit in there Oh, yes, the bear fits good. Penguin? 
Penguin? Hi, folks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't play. <laughs> oh, okay, let's put the twinsies back. Okay, anyway, on okay. to questions. Down there. Okay. Hi. Okay, so the questions from last week, we had quite a few, so thank you for that. Uh, how many creations has Chris fallen in love with and stopped Teresa from selling at this point? Since we became partners, it was, business partners, it was Nana. And I can't say the answer to it. And the three buddies is what you've made. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I've and made lots of snowmen. I've made the elephant that goes in the fountain and I've mm -hmm. made the, mm -hmm. some other little, a lot of snowmen, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of snowmen. She doesn't get attached to them. So we'll see. So we'll see. Because I, I started another bunny. We'll see what mm -hmm. happens with that. I love the bunnies. They're my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So three, four, four. She has kept me from selling. Five. No, oh. we, we were never intending on selling them. The reclining daddy. Nope. That was made yeah. for the school. Yeah. So. Well, one of the rooms have a roll-in handicap shower. Also, will you both ever have a live Q&A? Yes, we will have Absolutely. a roll-in handicap a shower. It's here. And yeah, 330 square foot ADA handicap accessible room. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Elevator. Elevator. There will be no yeah. issues for no issues for anyone there. Mm -hmm. So that's good. And yeah. well, we have a live question and answer, and we're actually planning a virtual tour. We had mm -hmm. uh, the Dusty Shoe tour this last Saturday, but we're going to have a virtual tour where we're going to uh, do a video through the school and talk about. Everything that yeah. we're doing, everything questions that's and done, and you can ask questions. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll be able to sign up for that, hopefully now. Yeah, March. And, what did we? Did you say the date? March sixth. Uh, yeah, March sixth yep. at two p.m. So and wherever your time zone is, too, at two p.m. Central time. Mm -hmm. You can um, purchase tickets to that, um, yep. which will go to. Um, any of the proceeds will go to the renovation the of the Gnome Schoolhouse. So. Completely tax deductible as mm -hmm. well. And you can ask us questions. We'll give you a, a walkthrough. We'll both be there. It'll be a Zoom um, mm -hmm. call so you yep. can see everything and talk to us. So that would be kind of fun. We're looking forward to that. Yes. And the next question is, will you carry knitting needles and crochet hooks and tools in your shop? or online. I especially want the very long ones for knitting, both sleeves or socks at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we do have knitting needles and crochet hooks here and in the mm -hmm. shop, and we will continue to do so. And- mm -hmm. um, We don't at, sell them online and We're not won't. selling them online. We, yeah. we're, we usually just sell our own products that mm -hmm. we're making online mm -hmm. and things that you can get elsewhere we mm -hmm. haven't really been. We we are selling them here in the store for those that um, are here. Yeah, mm -hmm. for convenience, for if you're here for a retreat mm -hmm. or if you're here working on projects and you forgot something or need something, um, we will have them here for you in yep. the shop. And but, we do have the large um, circular needles that she... <coughs> or you can knit to yep. at the, the same time. The yep, we have mm -hmm. a bunch of those. Yep. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, all things are subject to change as yeah, we that's true. <laughs> go forward. Yep, so that's true. this is where we're at right now. So that's the plans. Uh, when you get your barn ready for the animals, what color will it be? We are thinking it's going to stay exactly the way it is. We have told. <laughs> we have been told that we can seal that beautiful patina just as it is. It, of course, needs roof help. We need to put a new roof on it, but mm -hmm. but as far as the color, we're kind of partial to it. Kind of partial to that. Mm -hmm. that so it's I, kind of an odd whitish. Yeah, barnwood. It looks like typical old peeling mm -hmm. barnwood that mm -hmm. that if we can just seal and save as is, you know, we'll put new windows in, mm -hmm. fix a roof. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shine up the star on the top of yeah. the cupola up top, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how did the girls learn to do the weaving for the wall? Um, so Libby, my daughter, she's been 
on and off weaving for years. Mm -hmm. I think we were looking for an, through an album last night, and she was quite young when she got her first, you know, loom. <laughs> but I mean, that was even before we got sheep. That I, yeah. she got a loom as a gift. And as far as cat goes, is when she started working here, she has. I think all of our looms in her house right now. Oh, does she? <laughs> <laughs> and she's been playing with them and learning yeah. all about weaving, which is pretty, pretty cool. Absolutely, because so all those looms will be here when we open, so she'll be able to uh, to help you if you need it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we'll be selling um, mm -hmm. a lot of them as well. And so Kat won't be able to um, yeah. get you going on it. But as far as weaving the way they, yeah. with roving, they had never done that before. <laughs> yes, and they rocked it. They oh, did an man. amazing job. Yes. They, there was, you know, a few video um, examples and pictures that we gave them. This yeah. is what we kind of want it to look like. Yeah. And but they just took it. They and did amazing. Went with it. Yeah. And they, you know, were clever in, they were both working each on a side. Mm -hmm. And then every once in a while they would switch because they had a different, you know, way Technique, they did things. Yeah. And so then it would blend. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool too. So yeah. if you missed that, that was, was it last oh, time? No. Or the one before, the, before the episode that. before. Mm -hmm. So a couple times ago, we shared a video mm -hmm. of, 79, I think, yeah. of them weaving a wall in the, the um, wall. recording studio where yeah. our future YouTubes will be, mm -hmm. be done. And that was our test wall for the wall behind us. We're going to do the whole wall. Uh, weaving roving back there yeah. actually Kat and Libby are because now they're experts yes yes <laughs> so I do have a question about the dogs so yes. last week we shared videos and pictures of our uh, livestock guardian dog and mm -hmm. then her daughter Katie's Simba Simba uh, and livestock Tex. guardian dog yeah. And they are beautiful, by the way. What breed are they again? So they are mm -hmm. brothers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they are a cross, Boz and Kangle cross. Yep. And uh, they came from a ranch in Montana called the Blackleaf Guardians. Mm -hmm. And um, he sells these uh, livestock guardian dogs, Steve mm -hmm. Skelton. And my son works on that ranch. Mm -hmm. And that's how we... We went out there and came home with a puppy. <laughs> yeah, and we did a little episode. We did. We Teresa and I went out there, mm -hmm. and we did an interview with him that we do have on our YouTube channel. Yeah, um, you'll have to look back. Yeah, don't remember which episode. I will uh, link to that below. Yeah, uh, so you can go watch it. And he it's does an amazing job mm -hmm. of explaining about all his livestock guardian dogs. He has to guard against grizzly bears mm -hmm. uh, uh, with his sheep and. Mm -hmm. Um, he has a lot of knowledge on the livestock mm -hmm. guardian dogs and he has many different breeds that he mm -hmm. sells and for specific um, purpose mm -hmm. you know they're not I mean it's, it's pretty cool yeah yeah so you'll have yeah. to check that out mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're interested in the dogs so yeah. uh, and our dogs are are they even a year oh. I don't know. They're, they're about so a year. Big. <laughs> There's, I mean, this, this this is a like a extra high counter type, and they would just put their yeah. big old heads right there. Yeah, they're we so shared large. videos and pictures yeah. last week, but yeah. yeah, they're they're very large dogs, and they have really strong jaws. <laughs> yeah, but man, the instinctive guard instincts that they have is amazing. Because mm -hmm. we have had Great Pyrenees, Newfoundlands, um, Aussies. Um, and we always lose chickens <laughs> to these puppies until they learn that, that mm -hmm. chickens are what you're, you're guarding and what you're protecting. But man, this, this dog has absolutely is just, mm -hmm. yeah, would not harm anything. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah I've, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. a, a Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd Cross mm -hmm. that we had and he was struggling to keep the coyotes away by himself. So mm -hmm. then um, we, uh, Tex is our dog's mm -hmm. name and he's helped considerably. We haven't actually done a complete count because <laughs> we like to, to count every once in a while to see if any are missing because that's just what you have to do. Yeah. You just don't notice that yeah. coyotes came in, but they're out there barking every night. You can hear them. They go way out to, um, get rid of these coyotes so mm -hmm. feel a little safer with them around anyway. absolutely yeah 
Mm -hmm. So that's the end of our questions. We yeah. really appreciate your questions mm -hmm. and yes. uh, thanks for that. And mm -hmm. if you have any questions about anything with the fiber arts, um, fiber mill, needle felding, fiber uh, raising animals. sheep, fiber mm -hmm. animals, we would Shoot love em. to answer yeah. those. So we had a question last week. We ask a question each time, each episode. And last week's question was, what are the names of the Bear Creek bunnies <laughs> that live at the school? Um, and we thought for sure we we deliberately tried to choose to make it a harder. stumper. Yeah. yeah. So we have so and if if you look back at our old videos, <laughs> uh, you would have seen that we talked about them. We introduced yep. them. Um, I think it was in episode forty and forty one, mm -hmm. yep. and we had three of you <laughs> that had amazing. Yes. Perfect answers with details. Yes. They knew that so, they were sisters and their exact names and that they were made with the fur blends that we are, We, we are drawing online. <laughs> yes, we yes. are. So the, the three that answered the questions so well were Pat, Mariella, and Lori. So mm -hmm. we're just going to, I'm going to pick a number between, between one, one and yep. three. Mm -hmm. And Chris has them numbered. And I would say one. Mariella, congratulations. So you know the routine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's won yes. before. Yes. So yes, yes. amazing. Yes. She um, is very good at figuring out the answers. Yeah. So we have a, a special little a little prize for you. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So next week's question. Dun, I don't know dun, how dun, hard dun. this one's gonna be. We've mentioned it many, I forget, many times. What is it? It's how oh, many yeah, it's like... guest rooms will we have at the Gnome Schoolhouse? So each of our guest rooms will have a, their own bathroom. Yep. And uh, some will have two queen beds. Mm -hmm. Some will have one. Huge windows. Huge Beautiful windows. view. They're on the top floor. ceilings. Mm -hmm. They'll all be a little bit different. And they all, we have noticed, oh my goodness, they have insulation in between the walls. Then they have this, what is that, chipboard? That's not what it's called, no, OSB. Mm -hmm. And then the sheetrock goes on it. And the same, and then there's yeah. additional insulation in the hallway side. So the rooms will be super quiet. And then we have opted, we were gonna put the hardwoods in, but budget, oh man alive. Um, we're, we're being mm -hmm. hit, beaten up by this, by this budget. So, mm -hmm. so we are putting some beautiful period um, vintage carpeting carpet look in mm -hmm. so so the, it'll just be super quiet up there super peaceful and um yeah mm -hmm. and each room will yeah. be unique we're gonna yes. put special touches mm -hmm. in each room to make them unique mm -hmm. um, and different yeah. we don't want it to mm -hmm. be like a regular hotel it'll nope. be um, extra special so. absolutely yeah mm -hmm. absolutely so that's yeah. the question how many guest rooms mm -hmm. will we have at the gnome schoolhouse yes yeah. All right. Upcoming events here at the Gnome Schoolhouse mm -hmm. is um, this Saturday we have the basket weaving class. Yes, which is full. It's full. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but we're going to. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be scheduling another with the teacher. We have a waiting yes. list going. So if anyone is interested in being added to that, mm -hmm. um, we'll let you know when, when, when she um, schedules another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to add yeah. another one since there was so much interest. Yeah. It filled up really quickly yeah, really so fast. Mm -hmm. um and then in on march on march 20th we have a painting class they're going to be painting like a spring painting hydrangeas beautiful which is really Absolutely really beautiful. cool mm -hmm. so um there's still room in that class yeah yeah um, um after that we have I thought there was something before I was going to try and remember. Oh, the virtual tour on March 6th. Yes, the March yep. 6th virtual, virtual tour, tour, which you should be able mm -hmm. to get tickets to below. Yep, we've got yeah. another couple classes in the works that we will... Um, mm -hmm. We're working on We're them. working on that we all so. mention as we as we schedule. So. Mm -hmm. And then the grand opening, yeah. which will be in July, July 1st through the 4th. Yep. So, And then a couple episodes ago, we did um we went around and got a few of the workers that are working here at the gnome schoolhouse to say who they are and what what they're doing here at the gnome yes. schoolhouse because we think it's um pretty cool what they're doing they're yes. all we're very impressed with, very with everybody impressed. that's working here mm -hmm. at the school and we just want to um, share them with you so Showcase that you can see with, yep. mm -hmm. um, 
who all is here working on this project. It's not just us. Yes. <laughs> There's a yes. lot of people behind the scenes here. And yes. so we're going to close with a few of those interviews we did mm -hmm. with some of the workers here at the Gnome Schoolhouse. So yeah. thank you so much for watching. Thanks for yep. the questions. We love those and keep them coming. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. for So we do a lot of other videos other than mm -hmm. YouTube. Yep, um, adding more all the time. Yes, yeah, so um, we'd love to have you subscribe. And if you like this video, it really helps us. So thank you yep, so God much for you. watching. Bye-bye. My name is Mark Hill. I work for Manning Mechanical. I do plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. I live in this area, so I'm very happy to be here. Uh, hi, my name is Eduardo, and I'm one of the framers here working for Jeff for Construction. Um, I started working with John not long ago, but it's been really amazing to come and see all that we've done this past couple of months and the renovation of the Gnome Schoolhouse is really, it's an amazing project. It really is. And I'm, I look forward to see until everything is done and come and check it out once it's all, all finished and, and, and running. I'm Jacob Lindberg and I work for John Geffro and I'm helping out with the framing of the Gnome Schoolhouse project. John Geffro, we're uh, doing the framing out here on the Gnome project. Um, seven guys uh, starting, boy, when was it? Close to, close to Thanksgiving, I want to say. Uh, we've had decent weather for the most part until, until recently. Um, uh, it's been a pretty good project so far. Um, no big hiccups, really. Um, and uh, we're just just about just about done. We've got we've got to enclose that that big uh, tank for the uh, fire extinguisher or the fire system. Um, we probably have maybe a week left. A couple of windows, some odds and ends here, and then we'll we'll be out of your guys' hair and uh, be one step closer to opening. So. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to it. <music>